Steph, uh, first quarter, first quarter of the game, uh, you guys came out on fire defensively, offensively. How much of that was just wanting to make a statement early and just finally getting to the playoffs and wanting to do your thing? We were excited. Uh, we've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Um, obviously, if the guys that have been in the playoff game in the Oracle before understand the, the atmosphere and the vibe and um, the adrenaline rush was great when we got out there on the court for you know for warm ups. Just the the energy was was amazing. I think we fed off of that and started off the game well. We we really wanted to you know make an impression those first six minutes, uh, get the wheels going, and and uh, we were able to do that. And obviously building a huge lead was was important. Um, we just got to finish the game better, but we're not going to you know, panic over that. They're obviously a, a, a talented team that's going to make a couple of runs here and there, but um, nothing's going to be easy this, this series. Steph, it, it looked like they were trying to run you off the three-point line a little bit most of the game. What was your mindset when you see them doing that? Just make a play. I think I got some pretty good looks, and they, they like to switch and try to close the gap uh, with their bigs. Obviously, AD is pretty, pretty lengthy with how much space he can cover, and the other bigs just try to run us off the line um, and make us make extra plays. And I think that's how the ball was moving so well. Um, if we ever get in the paint and penetration and kick out, and somebody's going to find an open shot. And um, that's going to be important for us the whole series, um, how fast of a pace we, we run our offense as well. Steph, can you talk about when you were coming out, it seemed like the Pelicans would chop down leads and – when you came back in, you, you would make a shot to kind of get everything back in order for the Warriors. Can, can you, did you feel like you had to, each, on each of those occasions, do something when you came back in the game, the way things were going? I was locked in and focused the whole night, and I think in those situations, obviously, you want to get the crowd back into it, and uh, there's a weird kind of tension. Um, you know, that especially in the second half when you know they made a couple of runs, but. In the playoffs, you can expect anything, and whenever you're on the floor, just try to make an impact. And, and obviously, if an opening comes or a shot's there and available, they'll be able to take it. Uh, thankfully, I was able to knock it down a couple and, and get us going, and um, you know, get our crowd back into it. And we fed off that energy. Does this team and feel a lot of pressure? And as a guy who's the leader of this team, do you feel like you have to kind of try to help calm that down with the expectations? My my feeling, I guess, going through the locker room is we're pretty loose and pretty, you know, relaxed with how, where we are. We know it's going to be a long journey. Um, we've done a lot of great things this season, but the expectation we had in October is the same we have right now. Obviously, nobody thought we'd win six or seven games in a regular season, but when you get to the playoffs, everything resets and you have to just – not forget who you are and how you got there, but just enjoy the moment. Um, obviously, we're probably f obviously favored in the series, but every game is important. We want to take advantage of, of every opportunity we have. And I think in the locker room, nobody's kind of looking down the road or or feeling extra pressure uh, in the situation, which is which is healthy for us as we you know have to fight in the series. Steph, on your right over here, with it being Anthony Davis's first playoff game, did you sense any anxiety in him early, any nerves? And then obviously the player he was down the stretch is what he's been all season long. What did you see from AD? He got comfortable, and we want to obviously make a couple adjustments on him uh, with how aggressive he was in the second, second half. But everybody goes to those, those first half, you know, nerves and jitters um, in the playoffs. I remember my first game in, in Denver two years ago, and it was kind of a similar situation, just antsy and you know anxious, ready to get out there and, and um, get a feel for what it's like, and, and then you kind of settle in. So um, I know those guys on our team that kind of went through that same experience, and obviously AD, he changed the game in the fourth quarter with the way he played. Um, and we're going to have to deal with that all series, and that's why it's going to be tough. Uh, and with four games, we're going to have to really focus and lock in. What did you think of the uh, high arcing uh, left-handed reverse against AD? Um, I knew he was he was chasing me down once I got past half court, and I just wanted to try to draw some contact because 
in that situation, if you just try to go up softer, expose the ball, he's probably going to get a hand on it. So um, I got contact and was able to get the ball into my left hand. And, and at that point, it's just not, not so much luck, but just try to get it on the backboard as, you know, any way you can. And hopefully it falls in. I turned around and went in. So it was a fun little play and uh, I'm glad I executed you Steph. seem to, uh, Steph, you seem a few times out on the court to be kind of frustrated that maybe you weren't getting a couple calls that you thought you should have got. Is that, uh, is that the way you felt? or you... Yeah, everybody well. you know, probably thinks there's a foul on every play. Yeah. So um, you're going to react a certain way as long as it doesn't distract from what you're trying to do. Uh, there were a couple possessions where I, I thought it was pretty obvious, but they saw it differently have a reaction, move on. That's kind of how it goes. Um, I don't think the refs will determine win-loss in the series. It's just a matter of how we play. You can have a reaction, but you got to stay focused on what you're doing. Steph, they're really good at defending the three-point line. Can you guys win this series if you don't make the three, you know, since people are saying you're a jump-shooting team? we got to create – got to find a way to create good three-point opportunities. Um, by moving the ball and setting screens for each other. And we did that well in the first half. The key for us and the takeaway I got from my individual game is um, there are possessions where you think you have an advantage, when maybe it's an ISO or mismatch with a big or something like that, but they're taught to really try to close that space and, and to settle for jump shots in that situation might not be beneficial for us. We want to be able to attack the paint and then move it on to the next guy and find an open three so um, or an open shot, wherever it is on the court. Um, so just off the top of my head, I'll look at the film, but those are situations we got in trouble a little bit when they press up on the line and we can still get around them to the paint and find a way to get to the basket, maybe get to the foul line a little more and make some more free throws than we did tonight.